Oh, wow. All right, guys, we are gonna have some fun shooting some stuff up once again. I have this level four ceramic plate. This is from Universal Armor. It's like Tactical X-Men. We'll have a link over on my link tree and probably a discount code with it as well. So go check that out there. We did this earlier with the level three. I found out it was ceramic. So I was like, cool, ceramic stops black tip bullets like this out of my 30-06. And uh, <laughs> well, it didn't because it wasn't rated for black tip. Well, we just had to try. They saw that and now I have a level four. So we will shoot it with the black tip. So we're gonna pull out the grand and shut up and shoot. This is our clear ballistics gel. We call him Bill. He's been used and abused several times. We've got the holes marked though. So he's gonna catch the bullets. Let's see what happens. This one in here and then this one would be my very last M2 round. That black tip has got, I, th I believe it's tungsten. Y'all can correct me in the comments. This will punch through still very well. <laughs> we're so dang close. We're gonna have fun. Shut up and shoot. I don't know. We gotta go see. <laughs> I've got good jacket in there and uh, we've got a nice hole. Let's flip it and see. Okay, it did. It did what it said it could do. What are we like at 15 feet? That's pretty cool stuff. All right, hopefully. Okay. It was just warm, but it still scared me. <laughs> I was like, no, wait, how warm is it? All right, so if you're not familiar with ceramic armor, it's really awesome, first off, because it, it defeats by crumbling, and then it, it just destroys the energy of that bullet. Now I have all over my hand, so hopefully it's not poisonous. Oh, sweet. That right there is the back part of the uh, that tungsten, well, or not, that hardened steel core. And so it defeated it, and not only that, it broke it in half. Cool stuff. Let's keep shooting. 338 Lapua time, or if you hear the guys who actually designed it, Lapua. Anyway, this is a 300 grain bullet. We stopped one before with a level four plate. Go find, or I'll try to put the card if you're on YouTube, the uh, for RTS Tactical. Like from this distance, it's not rated for it. Anyway, we're gonna bring out the big guns because I also wanted to play with my new brake. This is the tank muzzle brake from Valenti Designs. It looks awesome. And you guys know I love suppressors, but I also love me some good muzzle brakes. And this is one that when you pull it out, your friends are gonna be like, what is that? I wanna try it. And that's what I'm doing today. I get to try it. It's got a three, a, a 0.39 inch diameter. So we're good to send a 338 through it, but it's gonna be just at home at an AR-10 and or in, you know anything in between that range uh, with the 5 eighths by 24 thread pitch. So we got that mounted up there. Oh, and these guys, uh, there's a, there's, I'll be able, put a link in my link tree. They make things like a tablet holders for your trucks, rear cargo kits and winch kits. So it's kind of like, these guys are just like engineers that say, hey, my truck needs this, or my gun needs this, and they make it happen. All right, let's shut up and shoot. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. I expected that to recoil more because it's a 338. Now, Bill caught a good bit of recoil. <laughs> he fell over. I didn't feel much anything, but that's cool. Let's triage Bill. I haven't flipped it over, but I don't need to because I can tell by that softball size bulge, it stopped it. You might just want to get shot instead, but in case you didn't, this is pretty cool. That is just downright impressive. Now we destroyed three quarters of our panel easy with that. I'm seeing a little pieces of jacket, but not much bullet. It must have gotten pulverized. Like if you hit a steel plate and it just pulverized, just, I mean, the, the damage is just incredible here. I put Sharpie marks earlier on our clear ballistics and we hit right on top of a Sharpie mark. So this is actually where it penetrated an earlier video with earlier armor, because we obviously didn't penetrate when we look at the, the vest, but look at that, I don't know, impact kiss mark? That's just insane. Brake was so much fun, I wanna do it on high speed camera with the brake, without the brake and a suppressor. It still tipped my hat a little bit, so the brake, it keeps you on target, and that's the cool part. Don't think of it as recoil reduction as in target enhancement. Carl said he wanted to get me on camera putting it on. I'm just doing it so I have access to mags. This one's a little bit different. 
we have that massive hole that has nothing left behind it. So you got that polyethylene or whatever backing. I would like to eat through it. And I think we're gonna eat through it bite by bite, just like how you eat an elephant with 22, but with fun switch. So it shouldn't take long. We'll stop after every mag and see. You ready? <laughs> it looks like it's, it's blowing out the other side. Okay, let's go look. Nothing yet. So that was 800 grains of 22 in a jiffy. That's one reason, one way we get these to run uh, reliably at Marksman Camp is only putting 20 rounds in. Let's go again. All right, mag two. I was afraid that was gonna happen. We're gonna have to get some duct tape. All right, we got some 22 rounds right here. It's still eating it up. <laughs> what was that, three? <laughs> We made it through. I saw it come out the back end. Let's go see. I saw a splash out back. There we go. <laughs> what was that? There was just a tiny hole. And that was three. So that was a, that was a 60, 60 rounds of 22 to make it through it. But shooting in the same spot, in the exact same spot to eat through this. So we really abused it and just went right out the gates with crazy calibers. But if it can stop a, a M2 30-06 at 15 feet and a 338, that's pretty much all there is to it, okay? Uh, okay, so uh, y'all can check it out. I'll put a link on my link tree, like I said, because while I'm calling it Chinese armor, a lot of armor companies these days are imported Chinese armor anyway, so you're just kind of cutting out the middleman, I suppose. And then if you want more on this tank break, yes, ValentiDesigns.net. I'll also have a link on the tree. I guess that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Did you see that? Come on, Nasser. Come on, Nasser. Yeah. I came in like a wrecking ball. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah.